another episode of tea with pastor b hey i am standing outside because i can because i can breathe wow like it's just been so nice to uh have some um break in the smoke uh here in the bay area for uh, at least the last couple of days you know we've been uh we've just been pummeled with uh bad air quality i think for almost the last month now and so we finally had some fog come in and you can see how thick the fog is behind me there's usually a mountain right there that you can see but it's really hard to uh, see right now because uh, the fog is so thick but I'm thankful for the fog um, it's 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 kind of helping uh, clean some air out for us and so it's nice to to be able to come outside my daughter uh, generally like has been itching to get outside uh, for like the last several weeks and so she's finally getting to play outside a little bit uh, today when she has breaks from school so um, yeah just so thankful for uh, some clean air so we can actually come outside and and, and breathe I might go on a long walk today just to uh, soak it all in while we can because I think we're gonna have some smoke come back uh, this weekend but hey I just wanted to check in with everyone see how you are doing uh, I am praying for you guys constantly. Uh, it's been so great to hear uh, back from some of you guys. Uh, you know, there are some needs we've been praying for for the last several weeks. And it's just been so exciting to hear God answering so many prayers lately. And so I think that's a very exciting thing for our church. It's a great reminder, hey, God is still moving. God is still working. God has never taken a break uh, during these last six or seven months that we've been facing the corona pandemic. You know, he is still doing great things uh, through our, our people, our church, and in our community. And so excited about that. I just wanted to uh, share a couple of things just to remind you. Uh, you know, I, I know it, it can kind of get redundant uh, after a while, you know, especially when we aren't meeting as a church physically right now. Um, and we won't be for the rest of this year. But I, uh, I just want to remind you, you know, like there are some things that you can still do uh, as a Christ follower, as a as a member, as an attendee of Grace Covenant Church. And I just want to remind you of those things. The first thing you can do is pray. I want to encourage you to continue to pray. Pray for our church, pray for our community, pray for your neighbors, your family, your friends, uh, any needs you may have, pray. Spend time in prayer daily. I just want to encourage you just to find time where you can just get us alone with God. Maybe you go on a walk on a nice day like today, or maybe you um, can find some time just to kind of get away and um, in, in your own bedroom or uh, just away from everyone else and just spend some time with God. Even if you just need to start out praying for maybe five or 10 minutes a day, but just spend some time daily with God. Pray, pray for others. Let others know you're praying for them. Shoot them a text, shoot them a, a, an email or however you like to communicate with people. Let them know on Facebook, whatever. Um, let me know uh, what I can pray for. Yeah, if you have something going on in your life. Uh, we would love to pray with you. We, like I said, we've seen God answer some needs lately. And so uh, prayer works. It's an exciting thing. It's it's uh, direct access to the throne room of God. And so I just want to encourage you, pray, uh, spend time in prayer. The second thing I want to encourage you to do is to uh, give. Uh, you know, as a church, you know, we still have to function. We still have operations. We still have bills to pay. We have missionaries to support. And so uh, we are still running as a church operationally, and we need help. We need uh, we need people to step up and give. Some of you have been so faithful in your giving, and it's been incredible. I'm just so thankful, you know, for that. Uh, as a pastor, I personally do not see uh, individual giving. I don't know who gives what, but I see a bottom line. And you know, lately our bottom line hasn't been you know hitting the mark that we need it to. And so I just want to encourage you, if you can uh, give, if you haven't been able to give uh, during the pandemic. Um, I just want to encourage you find you know even if it's if, if it's not what you fully want to give just give something I want to encourage you just to do that I know some people have lost jobs uh, during the pandemic some of you have had some reductions in income and I understand that it's a rough time but I also want to encourage you to honor God with your giving God has blessed you with what you do have and so I just want to encourage you you know give 
Um, it, it goes to a great cause. It goes, as I said, to missionaries that we support around the world. It goes to support the operations of our uh, church organization. So I just want to encourage you, please give. Um, if you are giving already and you can step up a little bit in your giving, I would encourage you to do that. Um, you know, God loves a cheerful giver. We read, we read that in 2 Corinthians, and I, I think it's so true. So I just want to encourage you, uh, be faithful in your giving, please. We, uh, we rely on that. And then uh, the third thing I want to encourage you to do is to not isolate yourself. Don't do life alone. You know, it's so easy to get caught up in, um, in just kind of sheltering in place and doing things on your own. But I want to encourage you to not do that. We have beta groups that you can sign up for. Uh, it's never too late to just to jump in on one. We have a marriage class on Monday nights that Jennifer and I are leading. And Pastor Katie is doing a, uh, a Christianity 101 uh, class on um, Sunday evenings. And these are beta groups. They're just laid back. They're not like structured like school classes. They're just hangout times. We talk with each other. We, we have good deep discussions and uh, it, it's on Zoom so you get to see each other's faces. Um, I want to encourage you to find a way to sign up. We have a Wednesday night group that's really laid back and, and uh, we, we meet uh, every week at 630 on Wednesday nights. Uh, there are so many ways you can connect with other people. Even if you just need to call somebody or text someone, um, you know, keep a conversation going with someone, keep a relationship going, but don't isolate yourself. So uh, pray, give, and don't do life alone. Those are the three things I just wanted to remind you of this morning. I love you all. I hope you're doing well. Let me know how things are going. And uh, we'll see you guys Sunday morning, 10 a.m. Excited to get into uh, the book of James again. See ya. Have a good one.